Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Comrade Build Rabbit Rabbit Form. Definitely one of my favorite designs from Comrade Build. Um, I forgot to pre-order this, that's why it took so long for me to make this video. Um, finally found a good price. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. Looking super good, and let's check it out. And here we have the figure still in the air packaging, looking beautiful, and let's dig in. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from SH Figure Arts Comrade line, the figure is basically perfect. I love the attention to detail, it looks like you walk out straight from the show, and the metallic red is very very nice. Um, a lot brighter than I expected, um, but it's just beautiful. Not sure what else to say about it. And the only issue people are having is that um, the bell part over here is actually wrong. I believe it was by mistake, like every single copy of it had the wrong parts. But personally, I wouldn't have noticed if internet didn't tell me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not happy with this. Consider how much we're paying for it, right? But anyways, um, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, it's basically exactly the same as Hazard Form. But we have this um, wings over here, or like the ears. He can look up about this much. Can't really look down. You can tell the set side is no problem. And we do have the pull out shoulder, which is really nice. Gives you a little bit more range. Um, you do have bicep swivel, can curl about this much, and you do get the ball wrist. And for the app crunch, you can bend forward about this much, bend backwards um, only about this much, have some pretty good side to side movement. And for the leg, we have the pull down method, can kick up about this high, bend about this much, five swivels, side to side pivot, toe hinge, and we got a ball joint over here. Very, very nice. And yeah, I believe that's it for the articulation. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, first off, we get a pair of display open hands, and these are always very nice. And then we get a pair of open palms. And then we get one right hand to crank the driver, and one of his signature style posing hands. And lastly, of course, we get a pair of hands to hold his signature weapon. Um, I don't want to call this a gun blade. It's more of like a Claymore cannon or a cannon Claymore. Um, we can transform this into a claymore and here is the cannon and we also do get his um transformation thingy where you can just put it in here as seen on the show very very cool and yeah um that's everything and let's check out some action poses Anyways, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoyed them, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, this figure easily gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Um, beautiful paintwork, amazing sculpt, basically perfect except for the belt. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, if you live in Japan, you can get a replacement from Bandai. And yeah, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. Definitely a big fan for Bill. I'm going all in for the line. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.